first of all, I'm, I quite like that um, Nisi has really some long-lasting projects. So the, the projects seem to be developed over some years. And um, so you can really do something. It's not like this one one time meeting. So there seems to be some sustainability in the pro um, and the trial and error process where programs um, are really developed, um, take roots, and that's something which really astonished me um, coming the first time. Um, in terms of um, the relation between um, the South and Mediterranean, I would call it our South and Mediterranean neighbors, and for instance the European Union, um, there's much work to do even here. Um, sometimes the terminology um, doesn't seem to be adi adequate and we need to be agenda settings in terms of terminology. Calling a panel, for example, the West and the Islamic world um, might have been some kind of well-intended provocation, but it's not a terminology we should use. We know for a long time um, that terms like the West doesn't say much, the West to what, since Edward Said wrote books about, you know, what's the Orient, the Orient to what, we shouldn't use this terminology. The same is true for the Islamic world, there's no homogeneous Islamic world, I mean, going from Indonesia to Mauritania to um, Albania next year, I mean, what do these countries really have in common, except that um, in some of them you have a majority of Muslims, so there's no Islamic world, there's no one Islam, and we really need to work on finding new terms, more precise terms, to talk, for example, about um, this large number of countries which are really the direct southern neighbors of the EU. So I'd really wish that on the long run we find a more appropriate vocabulary. I mean, um, terms are power, um, denotes some kind of power relationships, and that's if you really want to draw closer together, we really need to work on that and not work with old stereotypes, especially not here. For instance, I work in um, some very specialized areas, for instance, radicalization. So we have a lot of practitioners. So we did comparative studies, for instance, about prevention programs, the de radicalization programs. And everybody who's working on the field, um, who's really an educator in some ways, feels that he needs to have a scientific backup, somebody who evaluates, somebody um, who re regards all this with a certain form of dis detachment. So, um, I feel I learn a lot from practitioners, so they help me in doing my field of research, so I get loads of data, loads of real life experiences, and they in turn, they feel that they really need to have this independent outside look, um, which in some ways conceptualizes what they do, so it's really a very interesting and important symbiosis.